to your Humber News Update. I'm Hannah Hollingsworth coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Here's what we're working on at this hour. The so-called Jihadi John Killer featured in several beheading videos from the militant group ISIS has been identified. You, like your foolish allies in the satanic coalition, have yet to understand that we, by Allah's grace, are an Islamic caliphate with authority and power. An U.S. media has identified Kuwaiti-born British national blood. Mohammed Mwazi as the man who beheaded several work, ISIS hostages on tape. The videos released by ISIS show a man with a British accent brandishing a knife before killing the hostages. His face remains covered by a balaclava throughout the videos. The Washington Post says Mwazi grew up in London in a middle-class family and graduated from the University of Westminster with a degree in computer programming. It's believed Mwazi first visited Syria in 2012 and joined the militant group shortly after. In Afghanistan, more than 180 people have been killed in the worst avalanches in decades. Heavy snow has been falling for days north of Kabul, trapping people in their homes and blocking roads. More than 100 people were injured. Officials are warning of a humanitarian emergency in the worst hit areas. The high-profile sexual assault case against former CBC personality Gian Gameshi is moving ahead. A pretrial date was set in, an, in a Toronto court this morning for March 27th. Unlike his earlier court date last year, Gomeshi did not attend today's session. Only his lawyer was present. The former broadcaster is facing seven charges of sexual assault and one charge of overcoming resistance, choking. Gomeshi has been out on bail since November. He has denied all the charges. In the world of sports, NHL teams are making deals with less than a week before the trade deadline. And the Senators get off to a strong start on their California road trip. Turning to weather... Today will be overcast, but it should brighten up as we head into the weekend. As far as warming up, though, don't count on it. We'll have details of all these stories and more coming up in our 2 o'clock newscast. But for now, we leave you with this. Madonna has kept wardrobe malfunctions in vogue after taking a tumble at the Brit Awards. The material girl was taken down by her couture at a star-studded event last night. The fall happened while Madonna was singing Living for Love. She was supposed to loosen her cape before her dancers pulled it away. But, as the song says, the pop star lifted herself up and went on with the show. Madonna later thanked fans on Instagram for well wishes. She says she's just fine. That's your 12 o'clock update. We'll be back with more Humber News at 2.